it's time for another story. I was thinking about fitting in this week and how sometimes you can feel like you just don't fit in. There's no place for you. So I thought I'd read The Wrong Stone. It's by Russell Deal and it's published by www.innovativeresources.org. So let's take a look inside. The stone pile was a ragtag razzmatazzle of different shapes, different sizes, different colours, and different characters. Some stones were smooth, some were flat, some were hard, some had chips on their shoulders, some had rough edges, and some were a little cracked. But they all got along pretty well, like a big family in the stone merchant's yard. Until the day the big architect came. I want you to build me a wall with only perfect stones, the architect said. The stone mason scratched his head. All his stones were important. He'd collected them all, from all over the world. Okay, he said slowly. I will build a wall with only my best stones. But now, all the stones wanted the stone mason to think they were the best. They put their best faces forward. They hid their ugly bits. They tried to climb to the top of the pile. They formed into gangs who argued. Square stones are the neatest. Flat stones are easy to lay. White stones are the most beautiful. Triangles look zany. The stone mason started work, but the stones had become a rabble of rubble. As each stone was selected one by one, a stony silence descended. One stone began to feel very lonely. He was a strange shape. He was odd. He didn't seem to fit anywhere. The stone mason worked fast. Soon the stone started to see that there was a place for everyone except the wrong stone. He's too fat on top. His sides slope. If he stands on his bottom, he will fall over. The wrong stone felt bad. He knew the others were laughing at him. The stone mason thinks I'm useless, he thought. It looks like the crusher and the end of the road. For me. But then, miracle of miracles, the stone mason picked him up. I've been saving you for the perfect spot, he said. It's your job to keep the whole wall together. The wrong stone had become the very right stone. All the stones could see there was a perfect spot 
for each of them. So you see, like all stones, they're different, different shapes, different sizes, different colours, they're all unique. Every single one of them's important, and every single one of them has got a place. And that's just like people. We're all unique, all very different, but we're all very important, and there's a place for each of us. Bye.